If you've played Cyberpunk for as long as I have, you'd probably expect your stash to look something like this, with all the iconic weapons and displayable weapons all to yourself. But such as life, Cyberpunk is not straightforward and you might miss a weapon because you simply don't see it, or the game might decide to bug out and you don't realise you're supposed to collect a weapon until you're hundreds of hours into the game and realise it's nowhere to be seen. This was a case for me when I didn't pick up Sam 11.6 because it literally didn't spawn and I also had to give Skippy back to Regina as well, leaving two empty spaces in my stash. So if you were unlucky like me or a perfectionist like me, you're going to want all the weapons to yourself. Well, how do you do that on console when you've given them away or you haven't been able to pick them up? Well, have no fear because I've got your back. My name's Mike, this is Deconstruction the Game, let's get to it. Okay guys, so the first thing that I need to tell you about this video is you will require a PC and able to do what we're about to do, but don't worry, it doesn't have to be a high spec PC, it doesn't have to look good because you're not going to be playing the game on PC for very long. What we're going to be doing here is utilising two specific mods from Nexus Mods Online, that is Cyber Engine Tweaks and the all-in-one characterised command list as well. Now I know this sounds really complicated but I promise you it's not really self-explanatory on the Nexus Mods website or you can click up the top banner just now where I have another video to show you how to do it absolutely hassle free. And in reality it's only Cyber Engine Tweaks which is a mod because the other mod is actually an Excel spreadsheet you just copy and paste off of. With these mods we're going to be using the cross progression save system as well so everything we've done on the PC we're going to be able to port onto the console. So you've just seen there, my stash has got two empty slots there for Skippy and Sam 11.6. What we need to do now is save this game into the cloud so it's accessible on our PC using the cross progression system. You can see here I'm loading in on the PC and the stash is the same. It's the exact same save file we just saved. So Skippy's missing and Sam 11.6 is missing. So what do we do now? Well you open up your Excel spreadsheet containing all the command lines. Usually I use Office 365 or you could use Excel on your computer. It's entirely up to you. You can simply just type in in the search bar the weapon you're looking for. In my case, it's Sam 11.6. So I type in Sam, click on find next, and it should highlight the different versions of the weapon. There are multiple versions of the weapon, but I'm gonna pick the lowest level just now, and then I'll upgrade it as I see fit. Once that's copied, all I need to do is open up Cyber Engine Tweaks, press Control V to paste it into the command line, press enter, and as long as no red writing or error messages come up, that means it's successfully put into your inventory. We copy the same process for Skippy by uh, clicking on Find, typing in Skippy, and it'll highlight at the bottom of the screen there with a green banner. There's two versions of Skippy. One is the one that talks that you send to Regina, and the other one is, uh, it's not really Skippy, it's just called Skippy. It's just another version of that gun you find uh, towards the end of the game. So clicking on the top version of Skippy then, this has got the writing on it, and this is the one that will end up going into your stash. The good thing about this version of Skippy is because you've already done the mission and handed the weapon back, he will not shout at you every time you walk into the stash telling you to hand them back. All you have to do again, click Control V, paste that command line into the uh, console, and then in your inventory, you should find Skippy and Sam 11.6 waiting for you. So just popping Skippy into the stash there, and as you can see, it's automatically populated and filled that empty space. Sam is still not there, so we're gonna pop that into the stash just now. And there it is. So we've populated those on our PC file. All we have to do now is save the game. You can overwrite a save file or create a new one. As long as that little cloud icon is in the top right-hand corner, you are gonna be able to access that on your console provided the cross progression is active. If it's not active, all you have to do is use a QR code you're using your mobile phone or using a unique URL to type that into the computer and uh, connect your Galaxy of Games account. So Sam 11.6 and Skippy is there, ready to go. Don't know what the hole's doing there. 
So that's that guys, Skippy and Sam116 are in the stash. Now this can basically be done for any weapon in the game, any clothing item, anything you want. But because this is essentially modifying a save file, I'd be very careful and have an extra file saved just in case something goes wrong. If you're spawning in weapons and armor and things like that, it shouldn't cause too much havoc with the game. But just make sure that if you're going to activate any like special cheats or anything, that you're going to have a second save file just in case things go wrong. Now, in the Glen apartment, there is an empty space uh, in that stash if you haven't finished the game and killed Adam Smasher. Uh, spoiler alert. If you do uh, kill Adam Smasher, there'll be a key card available for you to go back to his ship, open up his locker room, and there'll be a weapon spec there for Ba Zing. But uh, it didn't spawn for me, so I'm gonna plug this into the command line again. Uh, copying the command is easy. You just hover over it, you left click, uh, copy it onto your uh, notepad essentially, and then press Control V into the console on the PC, and it's good to go. Easy peasy. And then same principle, you just pop it into the stash and it will automatically populate. Now when you populate this stash here, uh, this weapon will now appear in the original mega building as well because beforehand it wasn't there It was just in this particular apartment, but it will be in your stash at the mega building as well So yeah, that's how you spawn anything you want into the console version of cyberpunk 2077 using the cross progression system now, you're probably thinking, well, if I've got a PC, why would I want to do this? But if you have a console and a PC that isn't really capable of playing this game, this is the easiest way to do it because a channel subscriber of mine by the name of HG Gaming had problems collecting the Butcher's Cleaver from Pacifica after doing that mission set. So you couldn't glitch in the conventional way. So this is the only way to get those iconic weapons that you don't get throughout the game. So if you're a perfectionist like me, this is the only way to do it. Hopefully it's been informative and hopefully you've learned something today guys. If you have any further problems with this, hit me up in the comments below. I know some of you on PlayStation might have issues with this because the saves and the cloud saves tend to freeze up. But if you have any problems, hit me up in the comments below. And if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button because I'm really hoping to get past 10,000 subs at some point. Thanks again guys and I'll catch you later in the next video.